But I am a great believer. As we go through life, no matter what stage or age you may be at, we all come to various crossroads. And the decisions we make at those crossroads will have a great impact on who we become tomorrow and onward. Looking back, I believe my first crossroads was at the age of seven. I remember sitting in a cold locker room one day after phys ed class feeling a little down. The phys ed teacher came in and sat on the bench beside me and he said, son, I've come to realize you don't really like it here. I said, sir, I'm awfully glad you finally noticed. Well, that was the day he introduced me to the sport of wrestling. I had an interesting thing happen to me last week. I was on about a five-hour airplane ride. A lady got on the plane, sat beside me, and proceeded to tell me about all of her problems. And over the years, I've tried to envision myself as a relatively patient, understanding individual. But I must profess, after about 15 or 20 minutes of this persistent negativity, it started wearing just a little thin. And finally, she leaned over and she said, Sir, I never asked when I got on board, but what do you really do for a living? Well, I never hesitated. I said, Ma'am, I've done the same thing for 10 years. I sell life insurance. I never heard another word from that lady the rest of the flight. <laughs> but what I'd like to share with you today is a word that has had a great impact on my life since I was a teenager. And I know you're all familiar with the word pride here today, but perhaps I can shed just a little different light on it. As I talk about pride, I'd like to leave you with two separate threads. One on the personal growth side, but one on the professional growth side as well, which I think is critical. I was asked not long ago, what has been the key or keys to my success? And I said without hesitation, hard work. Because to me, there is no substitute for good old-fashioned hard work. When I became the first blind person water ski jumping in the shows at Cypress Gardens, Florida, apparently no blind person had ever ski jumped before. And I remember that first day, CBS Morning News and PM Magazine and a show called That's Incredible all came out of New York to film me. I was lucky enough to land and ski out of three of my first four jumps, although the one I missed was not very pretty. I'll never forget when I came back to the dry dock. The gentleman from CBS came running over to me, and he said, that was amazing. Despite the odds, you did it. What was your formula? And I said to him candidly, if no blind person had ever ski jumped before, then who the heck set the odds? And think about it. Has people ever set the odds for you? And I'm assuming the answer is yes. And that's why I've always thought that you can be a person with a lot of perseverance, a great deal of respect for yourself and others. You can be a dynamite individual. But if you don't have heart, if you don't have desire, all of a sudden, those characteristics start slowly fading by the wayside. I think of all the times where it would have been so easy to walk away when maybe the chips were down or I felt a little challenged or maybe the odds were a little insurmountable or whatever the case may have been. And I learned at a young age to draw from and develop what I call that inner strength that we all have. The ability to visualize. You might think, Wow, visualization, that sounds like an odd word coming from a person that doesn't have eyesight. But your ability to envision, to imagine, to create that mental picture in your mind's eye of what it is that's expected of you before you ever go out and try to achieve it, I think will pay great dividends down the road. Think of it this way. It's like having a thousand butterflies in your stomach. And to get those butterflies to fly in unison with one another is based on the time, effort, and energy that you put into the preparation at getting ready for that task at hand. I'm not saying you get rid of the butterflies, but at least you properly harness them. I'd like to leave you with a thought in closing. 
I would gladly trade the 103 gold medals that I pushed myself so long and hard to accomplish in a variety of sports. I would trade those gold medals to have the same chances that you do, to be able to have my eyesight, to be able to see how beautiful the colors must be in a rainbow, to be able to see what my wife and my kids look like, or to be able to see what my parents' faces look like, something I, I honestly don't remember. Or the simple things that perhaps you may take for granted as you walk through life. And that's even what trees look like. But despite on those days, when yes, I can get feeling just a little down, those are the days I realize there are so many people in this world a lot less fortunate than I. So no matter what stage or what age you may be at, I believe we all have the responsibility and commitment to want to reach out, to want to help, and yes, to want to make a difference in the lives of those who haven't been as blessed or fortunate as we've been along life's highway. And I'll never forget my first gold medal. I was eight years of age. It was a junior wrestling invitational at the local YMCA. And I was fortunate enough to win my four wrestling matches that day against sighted opponents. It wasn't the biggest gold medal I would ever win, and certainly not the fanciest, but I believe the most important. Because it was my link to the outside world. It represented hope. And when you're 500 miles away from home attending the school for the blind, I used to sleep with it under my pillow at night because it gave me something to hang on to. And I thought that if I could compete and win against sighted opponents, then eventually it would springboard or catapult me back into the regular school system. And that's exactly what it did at the beginning of ninth grade. It enabled me to attend a regular high school, and if it wasn't for my success as an athlete, I honestly believe that transition never would have been as smooth as it was. So never shortchange yourself on your abilities and what you're capable of achieving. God bless, good luck, and thank you for your time. Thank you.